Hi guys! So today I'm going to be showing you and talking to you all about my most essential, most used, top favorite, whatever you want to call it, brushes that I swear by and that I've used for years and years and that I think, you know, if you're just getting into makeup and you don't know which brushes to really buy, really just go for these and I think you guys will be all set. You know, I have multiple brushes that do the same exact thing, like I'll have a shader brush for an eyeshadow and I have like five of them but I always reach for the same one so that's how I know that these are my top brushes and these are just brushes that can help you like I said if you're trying to build your makeup collection if you're just not even makeup collection I would say if you're just trying to understand which brushes to buy for yourself I think these are brushes that you would actually use because I know I use them and I've seen a lot of other girls use them and they're the most practical that's the word I was looking for alright so without further ado let's just jump right into it so we're going to talk about the eyeshadow brushes first. So the very first one I think is no surprise to anyone out there is the MAC 239 brush. I have used this brush for, I think this was my very first MAC brush that I ever bought. Now this is just going to pack the color on your eye and that's basically what it's going to do. It's not used to blend anything out, nothing like that. It's just going to pack the eyeshadow on your eyes. Now you know when you buy like an eyeshadow palette, it'll, it'll come with like the brush, um, not even a brush, it's like a sponge applicator. Those are completely garbage. I would much rather you even go to Michaels, now this brush is really dirty, but just even, I bought this brush from Michaels and it basically is the same thing as the MAC 239, except like the bristles are a little bit more stiff and they're not as soft, soft as the MAC 239. Um, but you can find like a really inexpensive alternative, but that's going to do the same exact thing as the MAC 239, and which is just to get the eyeshadow on your eyes. Now, some of my favorite blending brushes to blend the eyeshadow out, just to give it like a really airbrush, smoky look, not airbrush, but more smoky look, or just to blend any color out in general. I really, 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 really recommend MAC 217. And I'm not the only one. I think this is the number one blending brush out there. Um, and I'm not the only one that says that. I swear by it. So many companies have copied this brush. Like, and you know, some people have succeeded. Of course, there are cheaper, cheaper alternatives. But I'm going to stick with the original and I just cannot get enough of this brush. It blends any eyeshadow out perfectly. Like you, if you even pick up the eyeshadow and you want to deposit the color into your crease, it's perfect for that. And it's perfect for just, like I said, blending it all out. It makes blending a lot easier. I learned all of my eyeshadow blending. I remember I used to have just one of these because at that I was like 14 when I bought this brush, and I didn't have a lot of money. Obviously, you know, as a 14 year old, I only had a little bit of an allowance. I saved my money and I bought this and I learned all of my eyeshadow blending by this brush. I would clean it, reuse it, and that was years ago. So this is still going strong. I have like four of these and I love them so much. The next one I wouldn't really call it as essential as the MAC 217, but for me, I do use it for almost every eye look that I do that involves a lot of blending. And this is the MAC 224. Now this brush is a little bit bigger it's like a little bit longer than the MAC 217 and what I use this brush for is really for final blending so I'm gonna explain it to you guys I basically will add the eyeshadow I'll blend out my eyeshadow um, in my crease with the MAC 217 and then I'll go back and really buff it out into my skin and just to give it like a beautiful transition like the gradient effect with the MAC 224 again this doesn't have to be an essential brush for everyone but for me it 100% is very essential to blend out you know your eyeshadows even further and just to give it a really nice finished look now let's move on to the face brushes the very first one is the contour brush from real techniques this actually comes in a set I would I think three more brushes but this has got to be my favorite brush for underneath my eyes it's amazing it is so affordable I think the whole set is about $17 um, or maybe even cheaper and you can always buy it buy one get one half off from Ulta plus use like coupons from Ulta so it comes out to be really inexpensive but this brush is honestly top-notch now this is really meant to be for I guess contouring not I guess but it is meant to be for contouring your face so to apply bronzer and whatnot 
but I just love this brush for underneath my eyes like you can see it fits perfectly it blends it out so nicely with these synthetic bristles and just the brush is so well made it's such high quality for such an affordable cost so if you're looking for a good concealer brush I highly recommend the Real Techniques um, contour brush it's amazing and I know you guys will love it now my next essential brushes are my foundation brushes and I have to show you guys two because just because I really couldn't pick one because I use these you know I alternate between the two of these every single day and I really 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 love them so the very first one what is this one called this is the buffing brush from real techniques again it comes in the same um, kit as the contour brush now this just makes you know what I'm gonna talk as Bought both of these brushes at the same time this is a flat kabuki brush f80 from Sigma now both of these brushes they're very different you know when you first look at them and when you the, when you apply your makeup they feel very different but they do the exact same thing basically they give you a very very flawless airbrush look they really buff the product into your skin and just really you can spend forever blending away and make the product part of your skin which is why I love it they're so easy to use and basically both of these brushes will do the work for you so whether you're applying liquid powder cream any foundation these brushes are amazing if I had to pick one between the two I would have to go with the real techniques I know it's it's hard for me to even make that decision because I love these two so much and I I have not used any of the brush like I have um, brushes like this to use um, where's my so I have other foundation brushes I have more but I'm just gonna show you this like the paint brush type and like the dual fiber type but I don't prefer brushes like this because they don't do the same job as and they're not as easy to use as these two these two brushes really kind of do the work for you whereas with brushes like this you have to do the brush you know work the dual fiber brush will kind of leave your face a little bit streaky it's hard to blend and then the paintbrush you really have to blend it out I mean I like using this okay well this is not about what I don't like let's just stick to what I do like and I love these two um, so yeah I highly recommend these for your foundation needs next brush is the 168 angle brush from Mac and just to keep it very simple this is your basic contour brush now I'm saying contour but I really mean just to add bronzer on your face to give your face a little bit of shape because it fits perfectly on like the cheek area so it makes the color depositing the color in your face very very easy again I swear by this I've used this for years now and I really use this like I said on a daily basis so if I'm doing a more intense contouring I'll use another brush but if I'm just applying bronzer you guys constantly see me use this so you guys know I love this next brush is my favorite brush to use to apply blush that's like a tongue twister but this is a Mac 116 brush I love this brush and every time I use it I get so many questions because everybody wants to know what brush this is now this brush fits perfectly on the cheek area it's not too big it's not too small I just want to compare it next to the Mac 129 which is this one and this is their true blush brush but I find that this is too big for my cheek area like it doesn't look like it on camera but I find that it's too big so I just love to use a 116 and just apply my blush it applies it beautifully and again it's just the top-notch quality brush you know it's so soft and it doesn't you get like a really good amount of product deposited on your face I think I said that like five times but yeah I just if you're looking for a good basic blending or not blending brush a blush br blush brush I really recommend this one and last but not the least my absolute favorite powder brush is the real techniques powder brush or is this called oh this is their blush brush oh I didn't even realize that yeah this is way too big to be used as like a blush brush I think um, it's also too like what's the word like it's too bendable to use for blush I think I just love this for applying powder all over my face it's amazing it picks up such a good amount of product without picking up like too much the bristles are super soft then it's made so well like I'm really genuinely pulling at it but nothing comes off I love this brush again it's so affordable I think this is like nine dollars nine or ten dollars um, I bought I always buy real techniques when it's buy one get one half off I have a, my eye on a few things out there right now but you know I'm gonna wait till it goes buy one get one half off 
Anyway, I absolutely love this brush. Like I said, if you're looking for a good, you know, powder brush for an all-over face powder, um, I really recommend the blush brush from Real Techniques. I didn't even know that's what this was called. So that was it for my essential brushes, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will leave um, all of the names of the brushes and the numbers and everything that I mentioned in the down bar so it's easier for you guys to just, you know, figure it out that way, you know, which brushes I'm talking about. So yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and my blog and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!